Hi guys, Natasha McLaughlin Chesson here, registered dietitian specialized in sports and performance out of NMC Nutrition. I'd like to start by saying wow, thank you all uh, for the comments, the shares, and uh, the likes on my last video. Uh, it actually hit 3,000 views in 72 hours. I couldn't believe it. So I realized that there is a need for this and there is a want uh, for these videos. So today, uh, I've gone along with some of the requested topics that were sent to me from some of you all, and there is a requested topic that's come back repeatedly, and that's what I wanted to address today. So that topic is a combination of two different topics. First of all, how do carbs fit in uh, to an athlete's uh, diet or, or way of eating, and is keto recommended for athletes? Now, I want to start with approaching keto. So keto was initially uh, utilized for those who didn't know it in the clinical treatment setting uh, for epileptic seizures that did not respond properly to medication. So it was used clinically in the hospitals uh, and monitored very, very closely by physicians and registered dietitians. Now, obviously today it has become quite a trend uh, and it is used in a lot more instances, especially for body fat loss. Now, what it is is that when uh, an athlete is consuming a keto diet, their body relies mostly on fat as opposed to carbohydrate being the main fuel source. And so they're consuming a maximum of about a 20 uh, to 50 grams of carbs daily. Usually around the 30 grams of carbs is what we see most often. And they are making sure uh, with urine testing that they are producing ketone bodies in their urine which means that they are in a state of ketosis. Now, most sports do require speed and or explosiveness at one point or another uh, in the sport for uh, maximum performance to occur. So whether that be a sport uh, like soccer, or a sport like swimming in, in training specifically uh, with endurance and so on and high, high bursts, whether that be uh, badminton, there are a variety of sports out there and, and they do require uh, explosiveness and or speed. And the speed can even be in terms of just proper technique. So if we're talking about speed of movement, for example. Now, the keto diet makes this, uh, the travel, social, uh, a bit more difficult, uh, eating out, especially if you're traveling for sport, uh, to restaurants and so on. And it is a high risk for nutrient deficiencies, vitamin, mineral uh, deficiencies, for example. Now, is it possible to perform on a keto diet? Yes. Is it possible to perform at your maximum potential? Studies show that it is not. Uh, so whether that be anaerobic, aerobic, or strength-based sports, what studies are showing is that it is not uh, possible to perform to your max potential because the quicker burning fuel, the fast fuel, is carbohydrates specifically. Now, does this mean that I'm expecting everyone to carb load or that I'm uh, that the studies are showing that everyone should be carb loading. No. Okay, so what we want to focus on is what we call periodization. So periodization means that you are consuming only the amount of carbohydrates you need depending on first off what your sport is, what your position on a team is, uh, are you the sprinter, uh, are you a striker, uh, are you a quarterback? And what your goals, personal goals are in terms of body composition goals, maybe where you are in your season as well. And obviously, you know, what your training day looks like from day to day and even what time of the day you're at. So you're gonna consume maybe less carbohydrate earlier on in the morning if you're doing the bulk of your training in the evening. Whereas maybe some sports that do the bulk of their training in the morning may consume more carbs, even like a bit of a carb bubble around that training. The amounts uh, vary dramatically uh, from one uh, team or one day even to another, one sport to another, one individual to another, in terms of what the ideal amounts should be. That being said, the carbohydrate intake is still important and no, we're not going to the extreme of a low fat diet, but to fuel majorly, uh, I don't even know if that's a word, that's maybe my French coming out, uh, but to fuel um, the majority of, the, of the, the calorie intake being with fat is not uh, seeming beneficial in the studies and in the research to date uh, for athletes specifically. So if someone wants to continue on a keto diet, um, 
please make sure to be followed by your physician, uh, by a registered dietitian in your province as well. Uh, and if you need help finding one in your province or in your state, uh, I can always uh, send you uh, some information on, on who's in your province and state that can help you there because you'll want to be closely monitored in terms of your intake, even your, your regular blood work to make sure that there's no uh, deficiencies going on there. So today I'm going to ask you to comment again, but this time I'd like you to comment if you've liked this video and you want them to keep coming, give me some topic ideas, please. Uh, I am doing this uh, to help uh, educate and to help uh, you all who are uh, kind enough to be watching these videos. So let me know what you want to hear about. You can do so in French or in English. Donc, uh, s'il vous plaît, si vous avez plusieurs sujets même, je vous encourage d'aller partager avec moi. Mon but, c'est vraiment de, de développer ces, ces vidéos ici pour vous. So thank you for listening. And again, remember, nutrition is a science, not an opinion.